Hello, my name is Salil Shetty. I'm the Secretary General of Amnesty International, which is the largest human rights movement in the world. Uh, the question I'm addressing is, uh, how will the decisions you're making today and the policies you're writing be remembered in a decade or century from now? And I think that's uh, that question is asked by Mel from Hamburg, Germany. And um, I, I think that's a, a very critical, a very sort of uh, relevant question to ask in this forum because um, I think that the decisions we make uh, now in relation to the economy and the way in which we respond to the economic and financial crisis uh, really is going to have some long term impacts. And uh, for Amnesty International, fundamentally, you know, with 50 million more people uh, slipping into poverty as a result of the crisis and more than 200 million people being unemployed now, uh, this economic financial crisis is starting to turn into a human rights crisis. And so there are two dimensions to this. First of all, I think what we should be doing today, because if we don't, it's going to have long term implications, is to really bring to account those who've caused this crisis. Uh, I must say, many of whom are actually in this forum. So no action is being taken against the people who caused the crisis. There's no great mystery about how it happened. And then the, in terms of how we are responding to the crisis, I'm talking about world leaders responding to the crisis. I'm afraid that what they're doing is creating a double whammy situation because the people who created the crisis are generally going scot-free. The consequences of the crisis were being faced by those who are marginalized migrants, women, the poor generally. And what they're proposing now is to further cut public expenditure, cut social safety uh, nets, and that's going to get get things much worse. Instead, we should be investing in the majority of the population, and that's what's going to reduce inequality. And that's the way to governments have a responsibility to respect, protect, and fulfill our human rights obligations. They're signatories to this commitment. So the way to go for the next 10 years is really to look for a human rights-based society. So thank you very much.